Melissa Bologna, a very special uh, guest of ours today. She's an actress, a model, and a founder of Beauty and the Broth. We'll tell you all about Beauty and the Broth a little later, but welcome, Melissa, to PopStyle TV. Thank you so much, and thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to virtually be here. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your background. You're an actress and a model. You grew up in Connecticut and you were born in the U.S., correct? Yes, I was actually born in Connecticut. And then when I was about, I want to say three years old, moved to New Jersey. And then from there, I went on to go to college in New York at Pace University, where I got my bachelor's in international marketing and while I was there, um, I started my modeling career and then went to study abroad in Paris um, for business, um, where I also then took acting classes on the side. And yes, they were in English. And um, how did you start modeling and acting? What did you start first? So I started modeling first and I started that in my small town in New Jersey, um, some of the, the local shops. Um, and two towns away from me in Red Bank, New Jersey, had me on their website. And I mod modeled for this jean company. I had a company in New York reach out to me. That was one of my first modeling jobs. I was so excited. Um, and then from there, I signed with Wilhelmina and started modeling in tandem with being in school. Um, and then, you know, got I won um, the Beach Bunny uh, swimwear contest. There was over 30,000 contestants and I had the wow. opportunity to shoot with uh, Sports Illustrated models, Nina Agdell and uh, Irina Shayek, who I love. She's um, been very, very supportive of, of, my, of my modeling then. She was extremely sweet, did some work for Harper's Bazaar. So that's kind of how I got started with the modeling and, you know, obviously loved it. And then I started spending more time in Los Angeles where then, you know, I've always had a large interest in acting. So then, you know, it got more into the acting in LA and, you know, the modeling kind of came tandem with that. So, you know, beauty and, and staying fit is a big part of my career. And I just started to feel generally unwell. I had a lot of brain fog. I feel like my age was catching up with me. And my sister is very much into health and wellness. Um, so I'm like, please help me. I need help. Uh, oh, that's so great if I, that you had yeah. a, a, you know, family that was able to help. <laughs> sure, for sure. And she, yeah, so tell us about the beauty and the bra. How so did you come up with the yeah. idea? I love the name, first of all. Thank I would love you. to know how you um, came up with the name and <laughs> how the whole idea developed. Okay. Um, so the idea developed from asking my sister for help when I wanted this lifestyle overhaul. Um, you know, me and my sister would go work out in New York and then there's a few pop-up places about, you know, there's like 17 pop-up places in New York where you could go get bone broth hot. And then my sister came to visit me in LA. I'm like, let's continue this routine. And we went to go get bone broth and there was nowhere really to go grab it hot. And obviously you could get well, it. Let me the ask you this. How did you figure out it's a broth? that can uh, improve uh, one's skin, health, um, et cetera. So this is kind of fun. Um, so I, I started drinking bone broth for my digestive issues and for my overall not wellness and brain fog. And full disclosure, I have no shame in saying this, you know, being in acting, I started getting Botox like literally maybe uh, four or five years ago, nothing major, just to touch up, little fine lines as a preventative. And then, you know, drinking bone broth and incorporating it in my routine, it used to be that if that wore off, I would, oh, boom, the timer went off. I would see the lines and wrinkles. And then from drinking bone broth, the timer never went off anymore for me. And I was like, hold on a minute. And I started researching it more and more and more. And I started to, you know, see from, you know, hearing podcasts and researching, you know, all there's a numerous amount of benefits, but it's one of the biggest benefits is collagen and collagen is responsible for your skin's elasticity and when i started to see the changes in my face and me feeling better getting rid of the brain fog 
you know, improving my digestive issues. I started to see the benefits it started to have on my face and my sister's face. And then realizing in Los Angeles, there was not really a whole lot of options like New York has to get it. So that's where the idea came from. <laughs> and the name, um, my inner self is probably about 12 years old. And I love cartoons and Disney, and I like to wear glitter shoes. <laughs> um, so That's when I thought of where it came from, the name. Yes. Please <laughs> tell us. So when I started brainstorming names, you know, I, when when I was just coming up with them and running down the list, when this one popped into my head, I knew it was the one without question because I also saw as marketing it more toward as a beauty product to people like me. So obviously, obviously there are different types of broths. What made beauty and the broth different and how, how do you make it uh, to, for it to be such clean product? this was something very important to me because otherwise I would have just stayed acting and modeling. You know, if I'm going to create something, obviously I want to create it with the utmost integrity. So as far as our product being different, it's different because it's in concentrated form, shelf stable, way stronger, all USA organic. And we also source these expensive ingredients in it that a lot of companies don't have. In fact, even our beef, we're one of three of the biggest companies who have their beef as USDA organic, which is something I'm really proud of. And so do you drink it every day as, as it is a juice or as it is a soup? Um, do you put it in whatever you're making that day? I also know you have some special recipes for parties. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, you know, I, if you want to make something a routine, especially something like bone broth, and you want to see changes, you really should be drinking it twice a day. Our formulations make it an amazing drink. It's actually quite delicious. And then if you know, if you truly want to be having this twice a day and finding new ways to use it to keep it interesting, um, we also make a bunch of recipes with it. I always throw it in my cooking. I'm really big on meal prepping soup. Um, so I'll put it in there. Um, <laughs> Yes. And as you mentioned, uh, last week we had a virtual cocktail party, if you will. <laughs> so we made a hot toddy with it. So we used our chicken broth and as mentioned, it already has turmeric and ginger in it. We used some gin and I'm not even a big fan of gin. Um, we use celery bitters and lemon juice. And let me tell you, it, I, being not a fan of gin, I had no idea the gin was even in it. Neither did any of the guests. And it was a happy Zoom party. <laughs> it went down a little too easy, a little too quick, um, but it was um, delicious. It was really interesting to try it in a cocktail. So you could drink it regularly in cocktails if that's your thing. Um, but I'm a big fan of using it in my cooking. How long does it take to, to see the effect? Of if you drink it every day? I mean, I would say, I think a general rule is 20 days. If you do anything for 20 days, you'll start to see results. Per for me personally, I feel like I started to see results within two, two and a half weeks, but obviously everybody is different. So I think that 20 days is a conservative rule of thumb to mm -hmm. see effects and um, the effects do not disappoint. So uh, what's, what's next for you? Are you planning okay. to focus more on entrepreneurship or going to focus on acting and modeling some more? What, what's in the future? I mean, this company has been amazing. So I've had the opportunity to do all three. I get to do my cooking videos. I get to model. <laughs> um, and then obviously I get to be extremely stimulated with all the moving parts um, in about a month. Uh, we're launching the vegan recipe. Um, we're also going to be moving to retail this year. Um, we're developing the retail box as we speak. We have um, a very exciting retail location we'll announce probably in the next month, as well as a few smaller ones we're going to. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm very, I couldn't be more proud of Beauty and the Broth, and I truly think the sky is the limit. Um, you know, definitely going to do more acting when it, when it, permits and to my schedule. Um, but right now I am, uh, I am very, very happy um, with the way things stand with Beauty and the Broth. 
That's great. Well, thank you, Melissa, so much for talking to us and keep us posted on all the news in your career and with beauty and the bra. Awesome. I most definitely will. And thank you so much for your time today. I, this was a lot of fun.